everyone and more crossing lovers and welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in now today i've got a very exciting tour for you you may remember um, those of you that have um, been here following me on my channel since i started that my first island tour was an island called sunflower and it was by the lovely alice um, and i felt so honored that she chose me to tour her island my first ever video now today we are back and i'm touring her newest um, creation which is an island called bloomberg and it's a calm european inspired town um, she says come and explore the market streets parks and villager neighborhoods the best tourist attraction is all as vineyard full of beautiful colors and a spot for camping please enjoy a glass of wine by the ocean and relax how amazing does that sound I'm so so excited to explore this island and this island is kind of everything that I want my new island to be <laughs> so the inspiration is real now we did have some presents left for us um, just outside resident services which I have picked up already and opened so let's put them on here we've got a sweetheart dress we've got a pleather fringe bag uh, we have a handheld lantern how cute is that um, let's put on the boots do we have a hat? We've got a wide brim straw hat, obviously, so we'll put that on and I think we'll carry the flower petal basket because look how adorable. Now, I'm just going to draw your attention to this flag, which is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love that butterfly flag. I think it's beautiful and great for the time of year that this dream address is set in, which is autumn. So let's take a look at the map and we have some cuties here and look at the terraforming and water terraforming on this island i absolutely love what alice has done with the um with the rhythm river mouse sorry they look really really great um so our first resident on this island is orla we have chevre weber i think that's how you say it eunice nan poppy aurora bones b chief and maple um, and i'm so excited so so excited to tour so let's begin and first things first we have this incredible entrance just look at the custom design there and i love the sort of different heights that alice has used with the cliffs the trees and the statues um, and the fact that the trees are red, oh, I just absolutely love this time of year in Animal Crossing. It's my all-time favourite and it's making me so, so excited to start decorating my autumn island. Okay, so we carry on through here and I also love the colour of that um, fountain. I think it, the custom um, colour on that is really, really great for this time of year. So if we carry on and what I will say about this island is that Alice has used some incredible simple panel builds here I'll just just whack out the camera it's not often I do this so early on but look look at that it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm really really am getting just sort of rustic European town vibes and another thing that I've noticed um Alice has done is um put sort of simple pa little simple panel builds outside her resident houses to expand them which i think is a really really clever idea i may have to use that idea myself so if we carry on going this way we have a nice little spot there and this island looks as if it's full of beautiful sort of city town spots that you would normally see in a typical european city um oh look we have a little duck pond i absolutely love that what cool custom code and uh, all the custom codes that alice has given me i will leave in the description down below so you can check them out for yourself um also the standees the standee designs on this island are beautiful just look at that absolutely love it um and oh we have a movie theater oh that's so so cool and i love the tree just behind that sim the simple panels that um alice has used there i think it looks great so if we carry on up here got a beautiful pink bike which I absolutely love and again we have a residence house with some more um, simple panels to extend it out which I absolutely love I think that is amazing and we carry on here we've got a lovely rustic little campsite I'm gonna go up this incline and explore what's up here so outside Nook's Cranny it looks like we have a newspaper station which is adorable Nook's Cranny with obviously as it's autumn we've got the pumpkins outside there 
and kind of a little little town square just outside. This is amazing. I'm I'm loving this. And just next to it we have kind of like a band and music area. And what looks like a little sort of um bakery corner, if you will. So if we head on down here and what else have we got to explore guys I don't want to miss anything oh okay we have to see this so this is where I started the dream address but brace yourselves guys I'm just gonna whip out the camera have a look at the simple panels just behind resident services like how gorgeous it looks like a proper huge sort of town hall kind of building that Alice has created using these simple panels and I am taking so much inspiration from this right now that is so so clever and that custom design on the simple panels is beautiful and we have a little rustic foam box just there outside of resident services so if we carry on just over this bridge here then we come to the lavender farm which, how adorable is this? Oh, I think it's so beautiful. It's such a, it's quite a simple concept really, but I just think it looks stunning. It's so aesthetically pleasing. And whose house have we got here? I believe, I think that's Nan's house actually, if I'm correct. But what a beautiful, beautiful area. And we have a flower shop here again, amazing use of standees so so clever clever and they fill your island so well um, and this is the vineyard look up these stunted trees wow and the different colors of the stunted trees as well that is so so cool and this is also where the campsite is so this is all as vineyard and you can camp at the vineyard which is such an amazing concept i love it Alice, I'm blown away by your creativity on this island. I think it I think you've done an incredible job. So this looks like it's all as house, so we shall go in and take a look. Okay, so welcome to the first room. This looks to be a really cozy autumnal lounge area. Really enjoying this log sofa just in front of the fireplace I'm just going to do a quick pan around there and this person that lives here Orla obviously has cats <laughs> which I really really appreciate I love cats oh what an, just an elegant simple room I absolutely love it let's go where should we go first let's go to the left Oh, this is so nice. The colours are a bit cooler in here almost, but it also it also feels really, really lovely and cosy. This is one of my all-time favourite rugs on the floor. I absolutely adore this rug. And I love the bunk bed and the little teddy. It looks like sort of like a kid's study room, kind of a kid's bedroom, if that makes sense. But I really, really like it. So, so sweet. Okay, so next we'll move on to the back of the house. Also, loving the garden wagon there. It's one of my favourite items. Oh, so nice. Gorgeous. Lovely, lovely kitchen. And I love all the different food items that we've got out on display. And the hoover there is absolutely brilliant in the corner. Again, really, really simple, but just a lovely, lovely, clean, beautiful kitchen. Okay, so let's go to the right. Actually, it looks like... Okay, no, that's fine. We can't get into the right. That's been blocked off. But I really, really like the way that Alice has done that. Um, so let's have a look upstairs. Look, what a rustic, cottagey, 
bedroom we've got a lovely piano in the corner we've got a spot where you can write a letter maybe to a loved one we have all that different antique furniture in here which I love oh how beautiful and the flooring just goes so so well in this room and the wallpaper I absolutely adore it okay last room downstairs oh we have barrel core we have a barrel room love this so i'm guessing this is kind of the vineyard house because obviously it is all as vineyard so i suppose maybe this is where she keeps some of her wine or makes some of her wine loving it and I've not seen this kind of um, wallpaper before, but I think that's really great. It goes so well in this room, as does the flooring. Great. Okay, let's tour the rest of the island. Okay, so where do we go next? Oh, so much to explore on this island. I really, really like these flowers here. The orange and pink windflowers together look really lovely. Are they windflowers? Yes, they are. <laughs> okay, so keep going. If we keep going to the right and head up here, we have a bakery. It looks like a bakery there with different cakes and I'm loving these box designs here. They are obviously, they're the umbrellas, but they give the illusion of being boxes of cakes, which I really love. It's so clever how Alice has used all the different items to create these illusions on her island. And we come to the Able Sisters. Oh, these simple panel builds are so good. This is just Guys, I'm loving this island so, so much. So creative. And look at these beautiful dresses just outside Abel's as well. Absolutely love that. They really do go with the vibe of this island. And oh, I don't know if this is a tribute to Sunflower, maybe, outside here. But there's boxes of sunflowers just outside Abel Sisters. And we've got a fruit stall there. It's like a fruit stand. The fortune cookie cart. And lovely area to sit and watch the world go by and it looks like behind there we have another dandy build there so we'll go and check that out in a second but I do just want to explore this area so we have maybe an area for busking which I really really love and this is so great I love this we have the um flower cart I've suddenly forgotten the name its actual name but we've got the flower cart with um the horse kind of it looks like one of the springy ride-ons pulling it that's so so genius and we've got an area for bike hire oh i feel like i'm getting ahead of myself because i really really want to explore up here where i can see there's a book cafe and a tiny library just there so we have a book cafe which is such a great idea. I absolutely love this. How cosy is this area? And these standees are so, so good. So if we carry on up here, we have a little seating area. I'm really loving all the different seating areas on this island. And a spot for watching the world go by. We've got the moon there, which gives a great illusion. That's so, so cool. And is this all of herself? Fancy a coffee? Um, always. Absolutely. So we do have a resident house here. So this looks like we may be entering some of the neighbourhood. So we've got a house there and a little sort of stop for tea and cake. And if we carry on going to the right, we've got oh sweet Poppy. She's so cute. And this is our museum, which Alice has chosen not to expand. So this is the museum... Um, I believe without Red's art gallery and I'm absolutely loving it it goes really really well on this island I think it is anyway I think this is a smaller version oh and I love all the oh I love the I forget that the weeds in autumn look like that but they look so so good also this custom code here with sort of the green floral elements on the path 
is really so good. Okay, so if we go back to where I was looking at before and head on down this incline. Have we been over here? Oh, we've got a double bridge moment. Look at that. Absolutely love that. And that looks like resident services. Yes, it is. So we are now heading towards the right of the island and I'm loving this canal. Like this water terraforming that Alice has done. So simple, but breaks up the island so beautifully. Um, and I will be taking a lot of inspiration for my island, but we're just going to check out the beaches. So we've got a little flower farm, what looks like a little flower farm here on the beach and an area for dining. And oh, the pier with an area for music, so we've got a piano there. And another simple panel build, which is beautiful. Kind of looks like, um, I don't know, kind of looks like a bit of a church building, that one. But if we go this way, it looks like we're entering more of the neighbourhood. So we've got some more villager houses and I really love the tiered effect that Alice has gone for here. So if we carry on up this incline. And also, look at these standees with the fencing design on them. How clever is that? Oh, a train set. I love that. That's so, so, so cute. I love how she's got items outside each villager's house, like different items for them. And we've just got a lovely fountain centerpiece there. How gorgeous. I believe this is Eunice's house. I've actually had um, Eunice move in on my new island. Um, and I think she's really cute. I've never had her before and I really, really like her house. So she's going to go really well on the concept that I'm hoping to create, which is a little bit like this one. Oh, look, we've got the Leaning Tower of Pisa there. Getting Italian vibes. But yeah, all these seating areas, benches, little cafes, areas to have a coffee. If you've ever been to Europe or a city in Europe, um, then this is so, so similar. And she's added some really personal touches as well. Uh, like this, for example, this pink little sort of, I, I think that must be a cafe because of the cafe sign outside, but the color scheme, um, all the colors that Alice has used is just so, so gorgeous because we've got the pink balloon, we've got the pink flowers, the pink flower design on the floor, on the um, sand there. And just look at this terraforming. So, so gorgeous. Um, and I love using these fountains on islands and I think Alice has done it so so brilliantly okay and that looks like it brings us back to the entrance I really hope I've not missed any areas I'm, I really do apologize if I have Alice but hopefully this will give you a taster of what Alice was trying to achieve anyway um, and it inspires you with your autumn islands or any autumn bills that you might want to create um, because I am in love with this island. I think it's one, probably one of my favourite islands I've toured. And I probably say that every single time I tour an island. Because you guys are so, so creative. Um, and I appreciate you so much for letting me tour your islands. And just be inspired by all the amazing things that you create. So if you do want to visit this island. Please feel free. The dream address was at the start of the video. Um when I opened the map, but I will leave it down below as well. And um, thank you so, so much for watching guys. Have a lovely rest of your day. Take care, bye-bye.